Welcome everybody, Chuck here, KK6USY for Ham Radio Ventures. And today we're going to check out the Baofeng Alpha 58 Sugar. Let's check it out. Okay, on a, on a recent trip to Hawaii with my wife and some friends, I uh, happened to uh, get the chance to meet Todd, Whiskey Hotel 6 Delta Whiskey Foxtrot. Uh, Todd's one of our viewers uh, on uh, Coffee and Ham Radios and my channel and a bunch of other channels. He's always there to support everybody. And he happened to give me this radio. To He wanted me to do a review on this. There's a little picture of the antenna. And what this is is a Bofang... Alpha 58 uh, sugar, and I, I looked. I, I got to be honest. I looked on uh, line, couldn't really find anything on on it that it was in English, anyhow. And that's what uh, Todd had told me also. But he wanted me to do a review on this and th see what I thought about it. So let's get in the box, show you what it comes with, and we'll uh, talk about it a little bit. This is a tribander, so let's just open it up and look. Comes with the. Uh, with the book here and it says tri band on the book and i will say that and i'll show you later on the radio it says eight watts in the book it says uh three different wattages and then but it's only two and then someplace else in the book it says uh five watts max i think one and five or something like that or two and five but we'll look at we'll try to find that in the book so it, it has uh different things in different places so that, that's kind of typical. So you got the two antennas. Uh, this red one here is for um, 440 and uh, two meter, and the other one's for your 220 band. It came with uh, like a European type uh, plug. I cut that off because it, it says in the books that I, that I might be able to actually charge this via like DC and AC power. So I'm going to hook this. The end of this up for a uh, like a power pole and try to see if I can charge it that way also. Came with your regular Bofeng charger, which I I end up using one of the power supplies from my other uh, Bofangs to actually charge it up. Has a uh, little uh, wrist uh, deal here. I don't use those very often. Does have the um, the clip? The clip goes on the back of the radio. Sorry for the unboxing, guys, but. And then you have your the little microphone and earpiece that it usually comes with. Or just earpiece, I guess, maybe. I think it's both, actually. And then you have the radio. I've already had the radio out. I just powered up here. Oops. Kind of a purple screen there. Oh, let me do it again. So, the typical uh, Bofang woman on there. Um... Oh, let's just uh, let's open the back of this up. Make sure you clip that, pull the battery off. And if you guys look inside here, hopefully I, I can get this where you can see it. It says model BF A58S. Uh, shows the power rod. If you look right there, like um, right there, it shows power eight watts, and then it shows all your frequencies. The frequency part is right. The wattage is it's not a it's a five watt radio. It does look like there's a little a little bit of sealing up here on the battery to keep water out. I don't think it's not a it's not a waterproof um, radio. And then here's the battery. It looks like your kind of like your tip it says twenty eight hundred. I think someplace else it says eighteen hundred. I will let me grab a um, like a UV. A Bofeng UV um, 5 and it just give you a comparison on size and stuff okay for let me go ahead and do the peel off here uh, everybody loves that for some reason let me do the other one too it's a, actually I'm gonna leave that one on I haven't done a review of that radio so this one is a, a, a UV 5R and uh, so there's a size comparison uh, I'll, I'll say the uh, this one is a lot more substantial radio um, 
than the Bofang. You guys, pretty much everybody's had one of these in their hands, so it's it's got a little better feel, I'd say. A little bulkier, a little heavier. Let's just check the battery on this to see what the milliampers are. So this one says 18. Um, let me compare them size-wise. Well, maybe the other one is a little bit bigger. Let's see. Okay, well, yeah, maybe that is 28. It's 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 quite a bit bigger. All right. All right, guys, let's dive into the book and uh, the manual here and just take a look at that also. All right, here's the owner's manual. It's a typical owner's manual for uh, Bofang Radio. Uh, it says tri-band radio, which this is. It says a few things in here which does not match the radio. Uh, one of the things was that it has... Um, three different power settings and that's that's not true it only has two but it just goes through here it has some warnings you guys can see right here and then um, your table contents here and just tells you all the functions of the radios and then it does go through all the menus all the menus in the back back here if you guys want you can probably find this online but it tells you pretty much everything you need to know about the radio it's a pretty decent book uh, I wouldn't say the best I wouldn't say the worst I've seen all right Let's just go through the radio now instead. Now, like I said, this is a tri-band radio. Okay, this this first button here, if you long push it, gives you the siren, the warning, whatever. Uh, I wouldn't use that much very often. It, <laughs> probably nobody does. Uh, then it has your push to talk button here, so that's your push to talk. And then down here, you can um, you can long press this. It opens a squelch. The light, that was the other thing down here. Hold it down, your squelch, press it as your light, press it again, you get the flashing light, and then off. This is the FM radio. And for right now, it's not picking up anything for some reason. It was a minute ago. Let's see. That's weird. It was picking stuff up earlier. There you go. Works, works better outside. And then you just press it again to turn it off. On the screen here you can see um, up here is your battery, your frequencies, and your A and B. So this right now. And to go from A to B you just click this and then it goes to, to B and then back to A. And then let's just go through the menu. Uh, typical menu. Uh, there's zero right there. If you look out here, it's blinking zero, but if you go down, it goes to 41. So there's 42 menus in this thing. So we'll just go down them. I'm not going to go real quick. You guys can, it's typical. Oops. Okay, we'll just go down. I'll show you each one. Go all the way down to the squelch. And these are pretty much what's in every Bofang radio. Nothing, nothing earth shattering or new here, really. All right, and all this is in the book, and it it, it, tell, it gives a description of what each each one does, also. Okay, so we'll just keep going down. Okay, so I turned the beep off. There's your low and high steps, and then back to squelch, which is uh, the first one. And to get out of that, you just push the exit button. All right, so nothing, nothing weird here. Um, let's see. The, the the buttons do not light up on this. I don't think. I thought they did when I pushed the button, but they they don't. The belt clip just slips in right here, guys. Uh, and I showed you the battery. So the battery release is right here. You just pull that up and the battery releases. And then put it back down. <laughs> Even works when you have it on. And there's your two contacts. You have to, this battery, you have to uh, charge it in the uh, charger cradle. It doesn't have any kind of a, uh, one I showed you guys before, you could do USB-C and this one doesn't have that. Let me uh, let me put the uh, thing on. We'll check the uh, 
the power output. Now, one thing on this radio, if you guys can see, there's an L right there. That's for low power. If you push this button, it changes to high, but it doesn't put an H up there. But that is high. Well, I'll show you that. Well, let's just go. Let's go into the menu. menu. We're going to go up to, and that gets you to high power. See high power there? We'll hit menu power. again. And then we go down. Okay. And we're going to take it. It's confirmed. Exit. Now see it's on high power. Oh, it's on low power. And if I hit it again, boom. Menu. Go back. And now it's on high. If I hit this again, let's just confirm. Let's go out. I hit it again Menu. now it's on low so that just goes low and high it only has low and high it doesn't have three different levels so we're going to leave it on low just so you guys know i got this one this has a dummy load built into it but i'm going to go ahead and and put uh, the antenna on it because last time i did this people were freaking out and uh, it doesn't need it the antenna part for this one is actually for um, you take it off the radio and then um, you see how much power is getting to the meter, basically. All right, guys, I'm just going to put this one on. I don't have an adapter, but this is the antenna. And this is, like I said, this is to check with the end. When you take the radio, put your regular antenna on it and go a ways away, you know, go a few feet away and see what the signal strength is. All right, that's what that's for. So let's turn this on. Okay, we're going to start on uh, 146.520 for two meter. And if I press it once, hold it, it says 146.520. And this is power. And we are on low power right now, guys. 1.1, 1 .1, almost 1 1.2. Okay. So we hit the button down here. This should put it to high. We'll hit it again. 4.28. That's usually what you get with one of these both things um you remember on the radio it said uh, eight eight watts and it's not an eight watt radio and the book said five watts okay now let's go to b i've got that set up for the 220 it's on low power oh wait, let's go that's the battery okay let's just push it should say 223.5 and that's where we're on. Low power, 2.1716. With the button, I'm going to high power, 2.60. So not real high power on uh, the 220 band there. 446. This is the calling band for uh, 70 centimeters. We'll set it back to low. We'll go back to frequency. 446. Perfect. Okay, we're on low. Points, point 0.75, so three quarters of a watt. It's usually low around 70, but I think that's really low. All right, let me go to high power. See if it redeems itself here. 4.17. So that's that's what a lot of people are going to use it on. Yeah, four. So I'll just a, just a little over four watts. All right. All right, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, it's a nice little radio. Um, like I showed you before, it's a little bit bigger than the uh, UV5R and a little more substantial in your hand and here's a look of it again okay um now just for a size comparison to a, a yac 50 uh, ft60 here there's the two side by side it's it's a little taller not quite as wide and a little more round than the uh, than the ft60 but about this not quite as heavy either that 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 ft60 is a pretty pretty bulky radio pretty heavy so in any of you that ever go to Hawaii or on the, the island where Honolulu is there, um, you guys might want to check into uh, the uh, the net that uh, Todd runs. Todd Whiskey Hotel 6 Delta Whiskey Foxtrot. 
Uh, he gave me this radio, and I'm going to give him something in return here pretty soon. Don't worry, Todd. Uh, it's We're getting close on this thing, so I'll be get, sending it to you pretty soon there. So um, if you guys are in Honolulu, though, check in. Todd runs a net, and I'll try to list that net down in the description below because Todd runs a really good net, and he does it, I think, on Wednesday nights. I, I, I think it was Wednesday nights. And the nice thing with that is uh, Todd lets everybody have their say. Uh, makes room for everybody and we'll run that net until everybody's had something to say and he, he does a really good job of his organization skills for that is really really good so if you guys got something out of this uh, video and you liked it please hit that like if you didn't you know that's that's fine um, and also if you are new here hit that subscribe button hit the all button and that way you'll get all my future videos this is Chuck KK6USY for Ham Radio Adventure 73 all hope to catch you on the airwaves Aloha.